Welcome, brothers. In today's video, I want to showcase the life of the modern woman who is single after 30, eagerly hoping for a man to invite her out or to appear in her life. But before we continue, I invite you to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share your comments with your experiences. This helps this content reach more men who may need it. So let's get started. Last time I was single, I was 24 and the dating pool was everyone. And now it's like a shallow puddle of age appropriate men who are old and gross. And I don't want to do that. Women in your 30s, stitch this TikTok and tell women in their 20s something that. Don't try and be the chill or cool girl to attract men because the only type of men that that attracts are manipulators and fucking losers because they smell it and they sense it and they take advantage of that. You will get walked all over because I did this all through my 20s and I wasted so much time with so many fucking lame ass men. If you want to be about high maintenance, go be high maintenance. If they think you're too much work, tell them to go find less. You deserve the best. Women in their 20s never think about getting older. They don't hurry to change their cards on time, to be in a relationship with a good man who can offer commitment. They only start thinking about it when they are approaching 30 and feel like they are hitting the wall, especially when they see all their friends getting married. Then the urgency and even depression start to set in. That's why, at 30, they start strategizing to catch a beta provider. Even this is becoming difficult because they are in high demand with women after 25, as these prince charmings can offer commitment and ensure a financial future and descendants. But many women want to raise their standards and see themselves as valuable products in the market. However, I have never seen a 2005 Toyota be worth more than a new one. Those who don't change their cards on time unfortunately end up crashing into the wall. That's why you see them complaining on social media because they know the wall doesn't forgive. I'm 31. I'm not engaged or married. I'm single. I don't have any kids and I don't own a beautiful big house. And according to societal norms, I am not where I should be at my age. Instead, I'm choosing to travel all over the world with my friends. They're also the same age as me and single. A lot of the times online, I seem to see all of these people with these relationship goals. And it can make single people like us, who, by the way, are choosing to be single, but it can make us feel like we're not where we're supposed to be in life. So here's a bit of content for you to let you know that you're exactly where you're supposed to be. And I don't know about you, but I'm having a bloody amazing time. And not that there's anything wrong with having kids or being married at 30, but don't let your age determine where you should be in your life. Just do what makes you happy. And right now, that's on a boat in Nice for me, but on cheap Ryanair flights and having fun-filled girly weekends. Follow if you want lots more positivity in your life. Brothers, the wall does not forgive. You can see the difference between men and women when they travel. A woman goes to bars with other singles, travels across the country as a visitor, and returns alone without any contacts. When a man travels, he enjoys everything the country has to offer, and most of the time, he finds a woman. They get to know each other. Some are lucky enough for something more to happen, they have fun, and in the end, it often leads to a connection even a relationship. That's why I tell men, your life is boring just because you make it boring. There's a whole world out there where you can find someone. Another thing is that women are very aware of what they should have achieved at their age, marriage, having children, or owning a home. These are things that feminists don't tell women in their speeches because, most of the time, those who marry a man end up having all of this and more because they still have a man who loves them. But, brothers, this is a woman who only shows her vacations. Later on, you will see what the daily life of a single woman is like. I am so tired of this narrative around single women in their 30s who are going through breakups or who are still single and haven't met somebody because it's wrapped around this idea that relationships equal success for women and that having a child makes a woman more successful. Therefore, oh no, if she's going through a breakup or hasn't found anybody, she's running out of time. One, you can find love at any time. Two, it's okay to want kids and to be disappointed that maybe your last relationship didn't work out. But no, there are so many options and ways to have kids. Don't buy into society's pressure. I feel like weekends when you're single in your 30s are just weird. I am admittedly terrible at making plans. A good chunk of my friends are married or in serious relationships. And a lot of my really close friends have left the city. I'm an introvert. So in actuality, I don't actually want to do much 
with my weekends, but I miss having someone to do nothing with. There is a lot I miss about being in a relationship, but just having someone to do nothing with is so underrated. And I feel like no one talks about that. The first woman is in the denial stage of hitting the wall because everyone knows that bringing life into this world is the most important thing for a woman. This woman mentioned that her relationship ended and it seems her prospective man abandoned her. Now she isn't selling the narrative that being single is happier, that she hasn't failed, or that she's not running out of time. But we all know she has a biological clock, and if she doesn't hurry, she will run out of time. I want you to notice what the second woman said, all my friends are married. It's because women immediately get married, changing their activities from those with friends to those with family. They prefer spending a Sunday night with their husband rather than going out with friends. Single friends are left with nothing but a cat and Netflix. During the weekdays, loneliness isn't too heavy. But when the weekend comes and you have no plans, no friends, that loneliness feels like a burden that gets heavier over the years. That's why she says we don't appreciate weekends with that special person. Brothers, the wall does not forgive. I'm just getting on here for all the girlies who are in their 30s. I'm 33, turning 34 next month. And... I'm just fucking done dating. Like, excuse my language, but I'm done. Like, for a while there, I was on a kick for the younger guys because that was all that was hollering at me because I must say, I think I look pretty good for being 33. So I was like, okay, I'm done with the young ones. Like, they're too immature. Like, I'm looking for something more serious in life. They, they're not doing it for me. Cool, whatever. I reunite with an ex that I was with when I was 22, and this was, like, always the one who got away from me. Mind you, he is three years older than me, going to be 37 in January. This man is emotionally unavailable. So, they're too immature in their 20s. And then they're possibly still emotionally unavailable in their 30s. I understand why my mom is 60 years old and still single. And just said forget it. Because that's what it's about to be. In short, she's carrying the legacy of the women in the family. At least your mother left descendants. But it seems she's going from bad to worse. <laughs> Brothers, after hitting the wall, women have a tough time. That's why they turn to their exes or men they ignored in their prime. The guy wasn't immature. The problem is he thought, in your prime, you didn't want a commitment with me. Now that you've hit the wall, you want something with me. He sees her only as a night of passion. Many men over 30, after going through divorce or long-term relationships, just want to have fun and enjoy their work. That's why women get frustrated with men because they see they're not looking for anything serious. At that age, women want marriage after going through the carousel, but men prefer younger women for marriage. With her, they just have fun. Watch the next video about the boring life of women in solitude. So spend the day in a life of somebody who doesn't really have a life. <laughs> and this is just a typical day of somebody who doesn't really open a mouth all day and speak to anyone. I live in Seoul on the weekend, so I thought I'd do a little, you know, voiceover thing because it makes me open my mouth. So I woke up, made my bed, and then I chose a little Monica mug today. I left my friend's mugs because I thought I'd probably end up cleaning drench them in jam and butter because I was a bit down, I thought chuck it on, so I had my breakfast, then I just started getting ready for the gym, I really didn't want to go today, but it's the only thing I had to do all day, so I was like, well, you got to do that. So I got to the gym, I did ask that guy if I could film, it's just frustrating sometimes because like, you know, I just want a nice boy like him, like just to go to the gym with, go spend the day, like I'm so ready to have a boyfriend now, but whatever. It was really quiet at the gym. There's probably about six guys. They're all quite young, but nobody spoke to me. So fair enough. People don't go for that reason. But I just think, where the hell am I going to meet somebody? I don't know. So then I came back home. I got a bit deflated again. I think I had like still like nine hours of the day left. I just had a cup of tea and scroll up TikTok. At this point, I was in a more of a Ross mood. I'm fine. I'm totally fine. So I decided to get ready to go to bingo. I really didn't want to go. Like I just, it's just more depressing sometimes than staying in. But I just thought it was a long night. Here's my little outfit. I matched it to my dabber. I mean, how bloody sad can you get? <laughs> this is me walking in now. I mean, I oh, just cannot believe this is my Saturday night. Um, I don't really know if you're allowed to film, so I was trying to be a bit like 
you know, whatever. Oh, there we are. That's the most interaction I've had all day. <laughs> just what I would love to be out tonight with just the person I love, like Ian Tappers, like dressed up. Like I love dressing up. Like I love nice outfits and things. But yeah, that's my view there. That chair, that's lush in it. Um. Anyway, oh, ice down now. So this is me little dabbing. <laughs> I'm actually, like, got a smile here. That's my happy face, can you believe it? But I was just laughing, thinking, you cannot post this video. Like, you just can't. Like, it is so embarrassing. Like, people you know might see it, or, like, my exes are on you, if they see it, like, might be laughing at me. But I just thought, oh, who cares? Like, if they think I'm a weirdo, whatever. It don't affect my life now. But it might help somebody see this video to see just what other people's lives are like. <laughs> anyway, my Netflix wasn't working, so that was fab. Anyway, I do hope anyone's okay. If they are struggling with loneliness, it is a freaking bitch. But good night. Brother, what a boring life. That's what I'm telling you. Many women lead extremely dull lives. That's why a man who can sell a fun experience on a date, where the woman has a good time, almost always has the upper hand. That's why I always tell my brothers to have friends, go out, whether it's to bars or sports bars, socialize because the life of a single person is boring in solitude. Look at this woman. She's not unattractive. A guy like the one in the gym would have liked her, but that guy won't approach her in the gym anymore, especially with all the controversy surrounding it. Women have ruined the approach for men, and now they're paying for it. From dating apps to feminists speaking ill of men, telling men not to fall in love if they don't have money, Facebook dating groups, constant criticism of every man in TikTok videos. All of this has only led every man of marriageable age to leave the country, abandon dating, or choose to live a life in solitude. Not to mention the divorced ones who no longer want to try. Brothers, they caused this. This is the life they have now. We've reached the end of the video, but before we go, the questions are for you. What do you think about the girl who showed her day? Why do you think there are so many single women at 30? If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell. Your support means the world to us and motivates us to create more content. Stay tuned for the next exciting video from The Wall.